YouTube. Today we're going to be doing the college update about how our college experience has been going. Yes. And this is homecoming week 2016. Everything's been turned. Crazy. Crazy. Crazy and turned and crazy and hectic and crazy and party and all the above. But we've been managing our time wisely. We've been studying. All day, every Psych. day. <laughs> no, it's fine. Yeah, we have been studying. Um, after every day, after every class, just yeah. about after every class, we go to the library. Midterms were, was last week. And when I say midterm week, it's true. for all of you who's going to college, when you hear the word midterm week, just, I don't know what to tell you. It's so stressful. Mm -hmm. It's test after. Well, it depends on the class you are. Because at, see where we go, at TSU, Tennessee State University, we have, as freshmen, we have like, the average freshman has about from between six to eight classes, depending on your major. Oh my gosh. And like when I say midterm week, you have tests and quizzes after tests and quizzes. It's all day long, all week long. Yeah. And then even after, before, and then look, the worst part about it, and as soon as midterm week over, it's homecoming week, and usually your teacher give you two tests, that one for midterm, and then they give you another test on homecoming week, which I don't know why. Yeah, but it's college. You know, when you come to college, just know it's not high school. There's nothing to play with. It's you have to world. be responsible. Stay on top of your assignments. And the main thing I always tell people is to definitely get to know your professors. Because if you don't get to know your professors, they don't know who you are. And they don't just teach that one class. They teach multiple classes multiple. and when i say multiple i mean too. when i say multiple well i don't know classes. that's just at our college that's how they teach when i say multiple classes it's like six classes i don't know but email your professors like i email my professors meet with them if you have to let them know that you care about the class yeah, you don't, don't don't this ain't high school you don't want to sit in the back be cool and this is college you first thing you want to do is find the front row sit in the front Always wear your hand. Always ask questions. You want to be known by your teacher. You don't want Raise to be. Raise your hand, babe. So you said roll your hand. It's not like you said roll your hand. Raise your hand. You want to be known by your teacher. You don't want to be that guy all in the back who just try to play it cool and try to cheat or whatever because this is college. They're not, they're not going for that. It's ain't high school no more. And I would say don't be on your cell phone during class because you miss one thing that they say. You might as well don't they're even. They're not going over yeah. it. They're not going to tell you due dates or none of that. Well, some yeah. of them, it depends. Some of them do. That's why it's important to get to know your professors. Because my public speaking professor, he mm -hmm. tells, he just give us, he do one lecture, and then after that, it's just straight work. Like, you got to know your date, you got to know when you got to present, and all that. He ain't going to tell you nothing else. But my uh, English teacher, she put everything online, which is good. Talk to the camera, babe. Talk to the camera. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm working on him, y'all. He got to talk to the camera, not up there to the sky. We're not the talking to Jesus. When I'm exactly thinking, baby. No, that's exactly what you do. <laughs> Sometimes I do. But oh, yeah, y'all. Look at you. Don't right now. <laughs> We're working on it. But yeah, y'all. College is so different from high school. We might, we might just do a high school versus college video. What do you think? Yeah. Because it's so much... Like, we're freshmen, and we're already, I, I kid you not, the first week I got here, I matured quickly in the, mentally. Mentally, I did, because I had to get my mind right. I had to wake up just about every day except for two days after the week I wake up, like, at 6.30 every morning. Oh, yeah. The Another same thing, routine, yeah. Like, one or two tardies, well, they got these things called syllabus. It's like a contract you sign. Basically, it's like a contract you sign when you sign up for your classes. And on the syllabus, some teachers at their two absences, they can like fail you for the whole year. So yeah, that skipping class thing, yeah. you ain't gonna get it. Cause after that- It's real y'all. Especially real. if you're not cool with your teacher or if you're already failing the class or whatever, after that second absent, they can just put an F for your whole semester. You gotta retake the whole class over. Yeah, it's crazy, baby. Tell me about your English class. Oh yeah, and then if you have your phone out, yeah. She can pay for the year. If she that's catch why, with your yes, that's why it's important. Like, I remember having syllabus in high school, but when you come to college, it's like the syllabus is basically the whole class. They, the teachers go by the syllabus. So you have, that's why it's very important to read your syllabus and all of that. 
because a syllabus is basically a guideline for the class, for the course. Yeah, so, especially during this week, homecoming week, when everybody try to skip and go to parties yeah. and do all this. Teach classes are still going, assignments are still due. Yeah, like Monday when homecoming week started, we had it's usually like ten people that presented, but only like two people showed up, so everybody else got like zeros for mm -hmm. that assignment. Ain't no makeup or none of that. Dang. And that was like a test, a real test grade. So like, Dang. yeah, they hurt. Yeah, like when you come to college, you do what you want to do. I mean, the teacher's not going to say. Yeah, they ain't, ain't going to like come to class. Or like, I ain't your money. You, class or that thing. Yeah. Yeah, you, paying, you paying to get to college. You not going to classes like you throwing money in the trash. Like, hey, you not going. <sighs> if college don't work, I'm going to be a rapper. But yeah, y'all, I mean, this ain't no joke. College is just. You, you, however, when you get to college, this your money you're paying. Whether it's financial aid, loans, um, scholarship money, whatever it is. Cause, so, teachers not going to email you or none of that. You, it's your responsibility to email them, ask them about assignments, projects, exams, all of that ahead of time. Yeah, this ain't not like high school. Like, they the teachers here care, but, like, they not going to break an arm and leg trying to get you to turn yeah. something in. Because they got, they got like 50 other students to worry about they got more than 50 they more got, than 50 yeah teachers here got over like over 100 class like over 100 students. people overall because mm -hmm. they teach because like one teacher can teach like two or three different subjects so like look at the camera baby i'm thinking <laughs> hold on but like, you want to get mad at me when i think because you you don't you be thinking all the time mm -hmm. like when we on facetime you be like you be looking around and talking and you look at me for like a second and you go back to doing what you're doing. <laughs> but yeah, as long as y'all just, just stay on your game. Don't miss any assignments. Don't none of that late work, bro. Do every, as soon as you get an assignment, do it that day. Don't wait. Mm -hmm. Don't be like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. I'm tired. Nah, that's no, nah, that's how. Yeah. yeah. You don't wanna end up like some people. I ain't gonna put nobody names out there or nothing. <laughs> but yeah. Quit playing. <laughs> Hush, hush. The thing about it is they realize you have a life. You got to separate your personal life from your college life. Like, it's okay to have some free time, downtime. Yeah, we always we have free time sometimes. every day. Yeah, but you got to learn how to balance the two. Because you got a life. When you come to college, you're an adult. But you have to learn how to be an adult and go to class and do your college stuff. You got to take care of it. Like, one of the key components of going to college is probably... Time and that's probably gonna be one of the hardest things to like get down pat. Cause some people, like some people got jobs, then some people have emergency stuff coming up and all that. Yeah, they realize you. I mean, you an adult. You have a life. Yeah, some people want to go party all the time. Do yeah. This, do How that. many parties have we went to since we've been to college? Not one. One. Yes. Believe it or not, we only been to one. And that was before yeah, college started. It wasn't even so. all that. Yeah. That was before classes even started. So. Yeah. But like. It's just. Don't it's be just, trying to hang out. Don't be trying to be the cool kid. Don't try to hang out with everybody. Get your work done first. Then after that, yeah. you can do whatever you want after that. I don't yeah. care what you do. I mean, eight classes may seem like a lot. Trust me, it still seems like a lot to me. But once you. It's just a, it's just about. Depends on how you take doing it. Doing a little bit by a little. You know, don't do it all at once because you're really going to be stressed. Well, yeah, you? like we don't have eight yeah. classes a day. We have eight classes total. like Throughout the week. Like Mondays, I have three class. No, two classes. Two classes. Tuesdays, I have two classes. Mm -hmm. Wednesdays, I have three classes. Thursdays, I have three classes. Fridays, I have one class, but then I have a optional on Friday if I want to go to tutoring or not. Yeah. But like today, I went to tutoring, so that was two today. And like... You have a class on Monday and Wednesday, the same class. And you have a class Tuesdays and Thursdays, the same class. And you have one extra class on Wednesday, yeah. one extra class Thursday. It may seem that like a lot. you only take once yeah. a week. So it, it, may, look, yeah. it may seem like a lot, but when you get used to it, it'll be like, you know. I mean, yeah, like after I said my second or third week here, I got used to it. Like, not every class I have, like, you ain't going to have homework every day. This ain't like. Just because you yeah. go, like, it depends. My English class, we have homework every day. But, like, my math and my public speaking, 
in my history, we don't have home. We have home like once every two weeks or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I didn't like a lot for real. But coming here and being here, this has been like our seventh or eighth week here. Something like that. And the reason why I say it's this is because, through, because we, it's midterms. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> the reason why I say that is because on the syllabus, they go by weeks, like week, quiz, study this on the syllabus, you know. And on my drama, like I take English, drama. She's a communication Communication. Um, algebra, public speaking, disciplines, English workshop, and service leadership. That's eight. Together. Basically, freshmen, we just take all the main courses, the courses you have, like math, English, all that stuff. Yeah. After about our sophomore to junior year, we should. that's when we start getting towards our majors classes. Like, she'll start doing her communication classes. I'll be in my mechanical classes. Yeah, tell me your major, baby. Mechanical engineer. <laughs> mechanical. And Jana. And Jana. Yeah. And Jamia. So, which means you want to fix things, right? Yeah, like, mainly like cars. Cars and stuff. He's good with his hands. For now. It's <laughs> a lot of math involved. I don't, I want to change because of the math. Like, I like math, but like, the math for me now is just, it's more letters than numbers. It's just so confusing. Yeah. But I'm going to just stick it out this year. And well, I think you'll be taking a lot of math. Your major, babe. I mean, it's just this subject. I know I got to take, see, for my specific major, I had to have, I think, four maths, two physics yeah. or science, mm -hmm. and something else. Right now, I already got two maths. I did one in high school. I did uh, pre-calculus one in high school. I'm taking pre-calculus two now. Oh, gosh. And then I haven't started any sciences yet. That probably starts sophomore year. But as I get them classes done, then I will go more into my major. So look I at the camera, start, babe. I'll probably start junior year. Thank you. Can you look at the camera? I was. Ugh. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, y'all. Um, it just really depends on your major. Look at the camera. Tyson, hush, I am looking at the camera. You looking all up here and shit. <laughs> but, um, it really depends on your major. Because depending on your major, depending on what you'll be taking. Like mine, I'll be probably taking, I know I'll be taking a lot of English. Because I want to be a writer. So, therefore, I may be taking a lot of English classes eventually. So, by my junior year, I should be into my math. Well, I already take math calm now. So calm stands for communication. Communication. So, I'm a communication major, and my focus is writing. So. Like stories. And yeah, I like writing stories and, and books stuff. And yeah. Whatnot. I've always been writing when I was little. Let me tell y'all a little bit about me. I don't really care about your personal life. We'll say no. that for another time. My name is Chris Station. We'll say that for another Lee. time, but... Hush, Tyson. Please comment below and ask us. Let us know if you want to learn about her personal life or not. We Both of us. Know. It don't matter, babe. They may want to know about me. Anyways, um, Crustacea. He cannot pronounce my middle name for whatever reason. Crustacea Q. Marty Lee. Deontay Montel Tyson. <laughs> you called that? Yeah. I was gonna say Lee. <laughs> Wouldn't that be weird if you changed your last name you to my name? Why does it got to be the girl change your last name to the guy name? I don't get it's that. It's just life. I don't want to be a Lee. I don't want to be a Tyson. Yes, you do. But anyways, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> chicken <Just>. nugget Tyson? <laughs> Baby, you know the chicken nugget Tyson? You know what I'm talking about? The box that say Tyson's nuggets? <laughs> Let me find out your family created the nuggets. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Get out of here. But anyways. College. Let me tell y'all a little bit. Hold on. College has been fun. I mean, we haven't. We just stayed to ourselves. Like, when I came here at first, I thought that I was going to make a lot of friends. Honestly. I don't need friends. Yeah. We just have each other. All we do is chill. Well, I got one. I got just one friend. Yeah. Here. That's about it. But he knew him when he was in college. Yeah, we knew uh, him. School. I knew him since, like, ninth grade. Ninth grade. So, yeah. And then his mom and my mom, they work together. So, like, we're real close. But besides him, 
Yeah, I mean, I knew this other dude I went to high school with, but he's starting to, I don't know. I can't take that. Dang. Dang. Hey. <laughs> but let me tell y'all something else about college. Y'all may not know this. You only get a certain amount of tardies late to class. I think you got to be like 10 to 15 minutes late. Um, so they give you a little flex, a little, yeah. little flex. It's a little. Now you can be, you can be a while if you ten over ten minutes late, then that's considered a tardy. Yeah. I mean, depend no, no. On the depend on depend the on the teacher, because my public speaking teacher said if you ten minutes late, that's considered. Yeah. Even if you show up and stay the rest of the class, if you ten minutes late, he can mark you absent for that. Yeah. Which I don't think is fair, but it's life. Shoot. Two absence and he can fade for the whole class. It's just, it's it's up to you. Like if you cool with your teachers and you like you don't. Like give them no attitudes, don't give them no problems, don't and disrupt the class, them. respect them. They they might uh they might mess with you a little bit, you know like, yeah. like okay maybe let me give you a little sympathy or whatever. But if you always late, always turning in the assignments late, disrupting the class and all that, they'll fail you quick. They don't want you in their class. They get you out of there. Do anything to get you out of their class. And they can do that. And they can do that. Yeah. Cause really, they even though they're professors, they're still over the class course. I mean, so whatever they, they say goes. Yeah. Well, all they gotta do is once they teach you everything they're supposed to teach you in that unit or before the test comes, they don't have to do anything else for you. And to be honest, when it comes to absences, like not coming to class at all, yeah. like most of my classes, you only get two times to be tardy, and after that, then they have to report your name to somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Well, like, basically, that's up to the teacher, though. Like if you. Disrupting the class and all that, being mean to the teacher and all that, then yeah, they gonna report you quickly. Then they gonna, they gonna give it they gonna give it to the dean of the college. The dean will then I think contact your parents or something and let them know. That, that ain't for real. Yeah. I think they I don't know I don't know if you do for sure. All I know is they're gonna send you like a letter or something saying that you will either you'll be suspended for the rest of that semester. Or you'll just be put out to school, yeah. period, or something like that. And, it, and also, if you fell in the class and they, you're not going to tutoring, like if you're not trying to get help at all, then they are... Oh, yeah, that's the the failing policy is if you... Can want I finish you, a sentence? Gosh. We'll finish. If you fell in the class and you're not going to tutoring, then... um, What happened, baby? No, 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 I finished. I was going to explain, but you can finish. Because you cut me no, off. No, I finished. Oh, this is what we go through. <laughs> and baby, let us. No, well, I'm, I'm getting off topic. I was thinking about doing some daily vlogs. But anyways, the failing policy is uh, once you get below, once you get like a D ish minus and below, her, they are going to. Uh, uh, they're gonna make you go to tutoring. Well, they ain't gonna make you. They're gonna send you a letter about tutoring. Mm -hmm. And then if you don't go or don't try to get any help from anybody, yeah. then they're going to uh, suspend you for the semester until you get your grades. Or and you know what? To be honest, that's why it's so important to go to class. Don't miss no classes. Also, get ahead of the work. And also to make sure that you email your teachers. Because like me, I constantly email. You can ask them. I email my teachers just about every other day or every every day if that's if I need to that's and the reason to why the reason why I do that is because if anything said at least I did my part you know what I'm saying so if it come down to it they can help you out give you a little extra credit or whatever they can do to help you if need be so that way and nothing can be said that I didn't do my part so mm -hmm. it's about being a college student and just doing what you got to do and taking care of your responsibilities it's a real world huh? Yeah, like they don't, they don't play. You can ask somebody to wake up in the morning until you go to school. Yeah, but I feel like we're doing great. I mean, we wake up every morning, we take care of responsibilities, go to, go to class, class. and to be honest, I think I've been on time to all my classes. If I haven't, it's been like two or three minutes later. Yeah, I don't ever be more, no more than yeah. five minutes late to any class. Yeah. I mean, and this one particular class, service leadership. It actually has helped me. It may seem like it's not really a point of going to the class or even being in the class, but it's basically to help you be a freshman and to just guide you through your little freshman life. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, it helps me. It helps you plan your week out. Um, 
You can do volunteer hours. Just kind of get engaged with the school, basically. Teach you how to study, yeah. take notes and all that. Yeah. Um, things of the university. Tutoring. Tutoring, yeah. The bookstore. Studying. School store. Study. So it really helps. I mean, it ain't like nobody's here to help you. At least you got people in your corner trying to help you. That's the good thing. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we got each other. And we've been knowing each other since... How long we been knowing each other? For like three years? Yeah. It don't even feel like three years. Gosh. It's so good to come to college and have somebody that you trust. Because if it was just a friend that I was coming to college with... Sometimes being fr friends from high school, they change on you. Yeah, they like get, one of my friends, he yeah. already changed on us. And like I told, remember I told you about my one friend that we we're close with. It's just me and him. Like the third yeah. friend, he don't even he don't talk to us no more. He act like he don't know us. He didn't. College can change you. It found can some other people you. start hanging with them. Yeah. I don't know. I don't mess with him anyway. <laughs> College can change you. It really can. He don't never, really never hit us up until he needs something. That's why they say, do college, don't let college do you. Wait, is that what they say? No, nah, I've never heard nobody say that. <laughs> What are you talking about? Wait, it, it's a saying for real. It says, don't, oh yeah, do life and don't let life do you. But I added college instead of life. So don't nobody, I never heard nobody say My granny never <laughs> said that. So? Okay, my granny says a lot of stuff. You just saying, he don't be listening, so. She never said that. But yeah, I just feel like. You gotta hang in there. You gotta. It can be stressful. It ain't easy. Times will get hard. Yeah. And you just wanna like, just mm -hmm. go back to your dorm or wherever you live in. Just lay down, and go to sleep for that whole day, knowing you got four more classes today. Yeah. Some days you just wanna just give up, but. Yeah, you do, man. I'm telling you. Especially when them tests come through, cause the midterms, the midterms. You wanna explain what the midterms is, baby? A midterm is like. It ain't your full. It's not like your yeah. It's not like your final grade for the class. It's like it's basically like an exam. The mm -hmm. it's usually halfway through the course or a third of the course, depending on how many midterms your teacher have. Cause my English teacher will only have one midterm, and that's halfway through the course. Mm -hmm. But my math teacher, we don't have any mid. He he don't call them midterms because we have so many tests. He just call it. He just call them quizzes, mm -hmm. and like we have one one third of the class we have one two thirds of the class then we have one the last day of class yeah and like so midterms midterms yeah. is really just to see how you're doing halfway through what is this a quarter first quarter or second quarter second quarter second quarter already when does the first quarter start i think last month because in november well now we're in the second quarter yeah now we're in the second after quarter. Fall well the break. midterm was just that quarter right yeah Okay, the midterm is just to see your progress, basically, like a little progress report, just to see how you're doing in your classes. Yep. So then, that's good, and so then that's how you can know what to improve in, what you need to work harder on, you know, stuff For like that. For a final exam. So, yeah. Of course, our grades were good, decent, for the most part. Mm -hmm. And we can improve on that. We can go by that. Yeah, we can go by that as a guide to know what we need to change or work on. So, yeah. But um, tomorrow is homecoming, the, well, a homecoming game. This whole week starting Sunday, and this is today is Friday. Mm -hmm. It's homecoming. Friday, yeah. yeah, homecoming week. But tomorrow is the game. We At the Nissan Stadium yes. in Nashville. Yeah. It's going to be Tennessee State versus East, East, Kentucky, Eastern East Kentucky? Kentucky. Yeah, East Kentucky. I don't know. Be there, be square. Yeah. If you're yeah, if you if live you're in, in town Nashville. or whatever, yeah. Yeah, if you're in Nashville. And then be there, be <laughs> That's what everybody says. But when I say something, okay. Don't know who says do college, don't let college do you. I've never heard nobody what granny says that? Huh? All A right. lot of grannies. Yo, just because you're not granny say that? that I didn't say that. Well even they <laughs> said no. I don't know, baby. But yeah. But, um, Just give me all a little a update with college. More vlogs coming soon. Yeah, I feel like honestly we've been doing good with college. You know, yeah. I feel like we should do more vlogs about. I mean, it's hard for us to do more vlogs about college because we're always busy with work. Yeah, so it's like when we do our videos, it's like challenges and stuff. 
something quick and easy. Yeah, quick and easy. But today we're just chill. My family's coming up tomorrow. I'm so excited. I already met his family. So he's, he gets to meet my family. So they're coming up tomorrow. The game starts about, the kickoff starts at 530, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, we're just excited. It's been a good week. Um, It's raining out. Yeah. But. Hopefully it don't rain tomorrow. Yeah. That's why we got to dress for the weather. Because I already know it's going to be cold. But, you know, it is what it is. But I'm trying to think. Anything else we're missing about college, babe? Um, just stay for the next one. Yeah. That's enough for now. We, yeah, we don't want to hear y'all too much in yeah. one video. Yeah. I don't want y'all head to be hurt. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. For those of y'all who want to go to college or, or thinking, thinking about, about it, college, yeah. yeah, don't just go. I mean, it's a good experience. You meet new people. You can get, get activities. You're away from home. So you teach you a lot about life, about yeah, responsibilities, already. time management. Teach you all of it. Yeah. Important, the importance of life because we're on campus. We don't have a car or anything. So it's like, Yet. yeah. It's like we appreciate our surroundings. We appreciate our parents for doing for us, getting us to where we are. We appreciate that. So we just been hanging in there together. <laughs> we'll get better and better as the days go by. Yeah. But um But yeah, give this video a thumbs up. Yeah. Comment if you have anything below and yeah. I guess that's it. Yep. Subscribe, yeah, subscribe, and uh, if you haven't already, yeah, I guess share or whatever, do whatever you want. Yeah. But I hope you enjoyed this video, you guys. This is the college update, so hope you enjoyed it.